Rod, it seems like you got a chance tonight to have a lot of guys feel good about the things that happened. Is that the biggest takeaway tonight between power play, Svechnikov, Trocek, D'Angelo yeah. gets a point, all those guys? Well, everyone played well. It's kind of a game that we've been, I've been waiting for. Just a bit, it was like, you know, all, we were playing okay, but tonight was just, it was good all the way around. More obviously how, how we want to play. So it's good. Yeah. Uh, Rod, can you explain a little bit about what happens when a team limits five shots, five shots, seven shots that they can't get through the neutral zone? Because that looked like uh, to our eyes probably looked like as well as you could do it. Yeah, we, we, we limited their scoring opportunities. That's huge, you know, especially considering, you know, we, we didn't score a ton. I mean, we had our opportunities, a lot of you know, posts, just, we were, you know, they were still in the game. So it was good that we didn't, you know, give them opportunities because they are so talented. We gave them one and they, Boom was in your net, so uh, it's super important to just limit those chances. Did you think the on the Strom non goal? Did you see that as offside from the bench, or did you yeah. need to have that flag? Yeah. Okay. Well, it, you know, you're never sure, but it was like as soon as it happened, it, you know, your the process is to check it, check it, check it, and you know, once we saw it, I don't, I don't know why it took so long. I understand that they had to, you know, they thought maybe it was brought in by us, but it was still pretty clear so at least they got it right did you get a sense that that changed the momentum at all especially when you go down and score on the power play and it goes from 2-1 to 2-1 like that or did you feel that you guys were kind of there the whole time yeah well you never know obviously we get behind that's a different game um you know we just come down at a great shift i think we hit the post down there and then all of a sudden they come down and you know you're like oh man this is going to be one of these nights you know but you know thankfully it obviously it wasn't could you tell Right from the start of the first power play, things were, it seemed like things were fixed right away. Well, it's weird. You know, we've been in that funk for a long time. You know, it was, it was okay as far as how it looked, but that, that obviously was much better tonight. So, um, you know, I don't know how to explain it, to be honest with you. You know, talk about the same things and but, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. So Rod obviously came back, but is he pretty banged up? He's banged up. How yeah. bad? How bad is uh, it? it? Well, it didn't. Not pretty, you know. Um, but I give him a lot of credit. I mean, he just this kid's getting, you know, he's growing on me every day, and it just the way. I mean, you too, right? You watch it; it's he's pretty impressive. So. Hey, Rod, Svechkov's been playing hard throughout the series, but you know, gets the goal tonight. How can that help him? You think moving oh, forward? Just to- I mean, obviously, we need him to score if, if we're going to, you know, win games and at this time of year, especially. And you know, that's a huge goal at the right time. I don't know that he was playing lights out up to that point, but, you know, it's it's that kind of player has that ability that, you know, out of nowhere can make something happen. And that's what happened there. Rod, uh, you talk a lot about playing your game. Mm-hmm. Now it's one thing to do it at home. It's another to do it mm-hmm. down two uh, up to one in the game for as long as you guys did that whole third period dominating. I mean, what did you see there? And does that maybe give you some hope that you can translate it on the road too? Well, it, it's, I mean, it's not like this isn't anything new. It's, it's how, you know, when we draw it up, that's kind of how we want it to be. Um, you know, uh, is it trans transfer over? Obviously we hope so. Um, I, I don't, usually take a lot of stock in one game into the next, you know, good or bad. It's always about the next game and it takes a life of its own. But I mean, that's def- definitely the way we want to do it. What is it? What is it about Stahl's line that just has that ability to shut down? I mean, the Bergeron line in the first round, now the Zabanaj line when you get them at home. Well, you're talking about three guys, number one, that play hard and do it right. And, and then, you know, I think Jordan is, you know, like I talk about him enough, but it's it's the way he plays the game. It's just it's right every shift, and there's no breath out there. Like he's all out all the time, and you know that's the recipe for success as well. Tara Vinen is quietly scoring yeah. a lot. Do you think his presence with his veteran experience is helping? Well, yeah. I mean, he's he, you know we know the talents there, and sneaky you know, like skilled player that. Uh, you see on that goal, that's that's a great catch and shoot, you know, that not many guys can do and at that pace and put it in the right spots. And, um, nothing bothers him, right? Like, I, I just kind of, you see, it's cool. And um, so does that help at this time of year? I just think it helps because his game doesn't change. All right. Okay, so guys. Thanks.